great, great. Okay, this is the part of the show that I cannot believe I'm doing because you see, about two months ago, I had Pinko on. Now, there, Pinko is doing a show called Pinko, the Artist, in spite of himself, and they started a little art club over on Avenue uh, between B and uh, C and D or 8 B C between B and C. And they have gone up. They're a force unto themselves. They moved to La Mama, and now they're at a classy joint in a safe neighborhood, and that's why I'm bringing them back again. Besides that, they're excellent. It was one of the funniest shows. I was screaming. I hope I wasn't distracting you guys. And here they are tonight, Flack and the artist himself, in spite of himself, uh, Pinko. It's very nice to be back, Lisa. Very nice to be back. I don't know if you know about this, Pinko, but I want to tell you right away that this is such a big-time show. Half of the flowers here are real. The other half are plastic. Yeah, I don't know if I had real flowers. I'd probably put water in it, but that's okay. No, we don't have any water. We don't oh, need to. Look at this. Cheap you know, Pinko, uh, that's not marijuana, is it? Is that, it's a doobie. It's hey, come on. Me, man. It's Cut him some right. slack. It's okay. Coca Crystal. Coca Crystal. Come on, it's just Coca Crystal. Come on, lighten up. Lighten up. Now, let me ask you. you uh, big things are predicted for you. I mean, are you really going to be the next Picasso? That's what I'm hearing. Black. Oh, is he? Tell me. Is he? Is this man great or what? He is basically the biggest thing in the 20th century in art. I would say that he's. Um, what he does is bigger than an artist. I guess it's bigger than art. Uh, what you could say? He was a uh, multi million dollar uh, merchandising uh, industry. Uh, we kind of got crossover into um, books. Uh, record clubs, we have uh, signed reproductions, we have uh, coffee mugs, we have little dogs, we have little pinko dogs, little pink dogs, got a stamp on the side of them. We're kind of merchandising him across the board. Well, what are you paying him? Mean, here. He just talks and talks, man. You just hear whatever you got to say. Well, how did you get started with all this pinko? How did, how did you get the art impulse? Well, I've been paying for a long time, ever since I was a kid, you know? And so, um, you walk around on the street and there's just nothing to do and you see a wall and you just say, hey, ma'am, I'm going to paint that goddamn wall. And you just put it up there. The guy's a genius. It's He's true, man. I was the first one, man. My tag was did everywhere. You, I mean, you did trains? You were town. a graffiti artist. Oh, yeah, man. And you were doing trains? I'd go, oh, inside, outside, trains, man. <laughs> Grand Concourse, Utica, and back. My tag is everywhere. And first, man, Koch, I beat you. I beat you, boy. The Clinton Street burner right here. Listen, could, could we take a break? Could you... Uh, Please show the Twinkie to the Andy director, McGrath, uh, Bob McGrath, brilliant guy. Okay, Bob, Twinkie for you. Love you, baby, lunch, rodeo drive. Would you hold the Shecky calls until we're through? Bob McGrath, what they're talking about, is the director of Pinko, the artist in spite of himself, which, uh, um, but you guys are here. Well, you spit that off with your teeth. I can't believe it. What a He's guy. He's a tough kid. What a guy. Now, how do you get the images for what you're, what you're painting? The image? Yeah. What, I paint? Yeah, the inspiration. Well, just like in my head, man. It comes out of my hands. Have you seen what he paints? My fingers. Not really, no. Yeah, well, it's. Uh, <laughs> well, I get pictures from comic books <laughs> and. Um, Bad uh, dreams. Television. Yeah. Violent my experiences. About being black. <laughs> I, I would say the only drawback to uh, Pinko's nurse is his production is uh, a little slow. Uh, you know, I. Uh, I've heard some rumors about that. That there's, and there's problems that uh, you've been sort of on a lull right now. Uh, You're not producing, and there's a lot what? of infighting going on. Pinko's developed a problem. No, I've, I've heard about enough of this stuff about a problem and a lull in yeah, work, Yeah, what man. is your you problem, New York, Pico? I got work on... Let's call it a, a combination of uh, drugs, sex, rock and roll, and too much money, all of which I personally am providing. Some daddy over here, yeah? Let's get to the bottom line. Yeah. Are there problems here? There are problems. I can see it. There's I can no feel problem it. at all. Do you have a problem, Frank? I, I oh, have a have sizable problem. problem. I'm in the business of taking borderline literate white kids and putting spray cans in their hands with the hope that they will spray something that other important white people looking for a more authentic urban existence will come up with the ready cash and buy it. Hey. Go home and feel better about themselves. We hey. split up the cash. You call, we haul, that's all. <laughs> now, the problem with this is, you see, it's very simple doing all this. It's a very simple thing. Painter takes a spray can. Some nipplehead takes a spray can, makes a few squirts with oh a spray man, can, right? what you know oh about all this shit? You are nothing but a I, businessman, a I, salesman. I then take that artwork, and it becomes options, commission, contract, domestic rights, foreign rights, exclusive rights, and endorsement, spot on cars and feature people, and album cover the Rolling Stones. I mean, <laughs> in what other business could you get so much for so little? <laughs> it uh, well, strikes me as free enterprise. It? It's kind of a Nixon movement, Let's you know? It's kind of he's money. Leroy Let's Neiman of uh, the Lower East Side. Pez Papa. You that is quantity and size. All right, let's pain, go back man. to something. I We're hear team, that the, the known gallery owner, she has that beautiful gallery on the lower oh. east side, Oval Office, oh. is trying to win oh, you away what from Flack and managing the hey, Let's talk about here. Oval Office. You're talking about what a knuckle-dragging, dildo-wielding, diesel hey, what bike. what you call her, man? What'd you call her? What'd you call that, Oval? <laughs> I called her 
a knuckle-dragging, dildo-wielding diesel dyke. And I, you know, oh, let's call her Diamond Rio. I mean, come on, you know. <laughs> man, she comes rolling into the art scene in all 12 wheels, you know, honking, going oh, backwards. Man, I know her much. scene, pal. Listen, money talks, bullshit walk. She's a sick flag. cookie. She's listening to flack. Mm. <laughs> hey, you she came out, she, story, Oval Office came out. She left a ratty little gallery and came out to, came out to Cal, Malibu to see us. Oh, this was great. Oh, this was terrific. Talk about cellulite drip. I could not believe it. I thought she was wearing an underdiving, underwater diving gear. This was her dress. She came into this. Thing. Incredible. She was great. She had spikes. She came in with a. Dress strange. Yeah. She had a spatula with her and tried to work us into a frenzy. Are you making it or not? She came out and said she had all these little house pets. She had this oh, man. Very strange chick. A drag, man. <laughs> Marginal. Now, what's it like for you living in Malibu? I mean, you've left the Lower Malibu's East Side. Malibu is a great scene. place. You're I want to tell Malibu? you, man. You all ought to come there. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's costing me a major dollar. <laughs> yeah, but you can't well, it's worth there, it. Ain't it, flack, old man? Mwah. <sighs> what, what is this with the, wait, oh, okay, never mind. He has problems, ask. he has problems, uh, he has problems. Uh, I'm still with the slow moving house pets. He moved on to something else. Now, now, is it nice out there? I mean, I hear you can't create, though. Let's get to this. Are you creating, are you painting? Oh, What's I'm creating all the right time, now? man. I, I got images going through my head all the time. I can see them, I can see them right there. Right now, I see you, I see this, I see an image. I could grab a can now and, and paint. Anyway. I hear you're going to be on Let's Make an Art Deal with the host, Monty Martin. Well, Monty's a close personal friend uh, of mine. I worked a deal where man. we could have a year. We got a TV deal with Monty, and Monty kind of has a deal there where Oval comes on with a let's make an art deal. Monty and Monty, close personal friend of mine, and Sammy Davis Jr. and a few other people, Shaky Green. We kind of hang out <laughs> together. We play pinochle together. Um, so, Monty, uh, you know, we go over to Hillcrest. You know, there's one going. They're all Jews. Guys, it looks like a bun meeting. There's a thousand BMWs and uh, Mercedes Benz, all these Jews driving these German cars. Very crazy scene. <laughs> but at any rate, I like, to, I like to show up as a. Uh, I like to show up again. No, there are no, no black guys in there, pal. Just Jews, one little boy, me. Me. First, right, first two times I was there, one guy put a drink on the top of my head. He thought I was kind of those like ambulatory little uh, drinking table. And then one other time somebody tried to water me while I was there. But at any rate, that's not a problem. I've been trying to make a deal with the important Jewish suits, and that's part of the program with right, Mahdi. Mahdi is an important Jewish suit. Let's talk. Just quickly, you're going off to Europe. I hear that after you do this whole month of Thursdays and one Friday, the 31st, at Green Street, you're going off to Europe. You have a big tour pending. Con contingent yeah. on the, we're looking for a grant from the, uh, Shecky Green Art Foundation. Check's well, going to be. I hear he's Shek's, on hold right well, now. Well, Shecky's on the blower right now. Right, Check, love you, baby. Come on, crazy guy. Get, Listen, get I him wanna, on the phone. He never stops. Yeah. I, I want to thank you for coming. And, you know, I'm so glad I had you back because you're great. You're funny. I was just surprised. Did you I left. I screamed. I cannot recommend the show enough. It's Pinko, the artist in spite of himself. Hey, this is a good lady here. <laughs> she wore, she wore this underpants is this week. Is this true? I mean, the last time I was here, no underpants. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any, Lisa, do you have any pants on? Today I do. Great, yeah, great. New ones. All right, now, he, here we go. The, over here we have uh, uh, Roger Cox, who's Flack, and Pinko, and I want to thank you for coming back to the show. Come back anytime. I want to see the show every single Thursday at Green Street this month. Me and now too. on uh, to.